Hey everybody, it's Nellie from Broken Active Mama and I'm here um, doing a video vlog because I have been tagged to talk about my first by my wonderful friend Patty at enjoyingthislife.com. So we're going to talk about some of my first and some of them are actually quite interesting so I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so my first kiss. My first kiss was gross and disgusting. I'm not even kidding like it was so bad I was 13 I had snuck into the backyard somewhere and me and this guy that lived on my block we went and we went to go kiss and I thought it was gonna be the best thing ever and it was gross and nasty and all I'm gonna say is that there was a lot of saliva involved my first date was actually quite interesting um, my first date was exactly a week after my husband Jay who you know was my boyfriend at the time he had actually asked me to go with him so you know back in the day if somebody asked you to go with them you are good right because you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend now so he asked me to go with him and a week later we were going on our first date and it was to an italian restaurant and the name of the restaurant wait for it are you ready are you ready the name of the restaurant is j and s so James and Chanel, right? That's crazy, right? So it's anyway, it's called JNS Italian Restaurant. We went, it was awesome, it was great. I was so nervous, I couldn't stop talking about it all day at school. But it was a great, great, great date. And um, it was, I think it was the first time I ever had big beauty and um, some bread and all that good stuff. But it was a wonderful restaurant. I'm so sad it closed, but it was a really great, wonderful date with, I wish I knew then, who's gonna be my future husband. My first car, I don't have a car, so I have yet to have that first. Um, in Brooklyn, I live really, really close to a train. I know that's a really bad excuse, but I only go to Manhattan. What other reason to have a car than to go to Manhattan, right? I mean, you guys drive places like other states and stuff? No, I just go to Manhattan, that's all I do. So maybe one day I'll get a car, but not today, okay? Thank you. I don't know why I got so defensive my first job okay so my first job was actually i was 16 years old and i was in this thing in new york city called summer youth and summer youth is where they pay you exactly minimum wage to get a job but it was fun because i used that minimum wage to buy my air force ones in every single color possible so i had no responsibility or nothing like that so all i did was purchase clothes and sneakers and as mean as that might sound is probably one of the best times of my life when I didn't have to worry about a mortgage or a you know family or anything like that I could just spend money any kind of way I want to um, but that was really fun back in the day and what I was was a camp counselor we would go everywhere so I thought it was the coolest job ever we went to the zoo we went to the museums, we went every single place you can imagine. So it was super fun and if we could do it again, I would, but just not for minimum wage. My first YouTube video, if you believe it or not, my first YouTube video, um, it was actually a concert of Elephant Man and a little kid doing a dance. And if you can believe that this concert and this video has gotten over half a million views on YouTube, like that's a pretty good place to start, right? So like, I mean, it was just a really, really great video that kind of went viral and I was super happy about it. And um, that's about it. That was my first YouTube video. And I'm very proud of it. Half a million views. Thank you very much. My first music purchase was a cassette tape. Remember when they had cassette tape singles? I had one of those and I bought Janet Jackson's You Want This. You know, the one she goes, early in the morning, you want this, right? But I'm nine years old, so I should not be listening to that type of music, but that's what I bought. It was 99 cents and it was at Sam Goody or The Wiz, I can't remember which one. And it was kind of like the best song ever. And I love the video where she's in the sand dune. She's doing a little butterfly thing. Oh my gosh, I just wanted to be Janet Jackson when I was her age, when I was that age. So you want this, Janet Jackson. That was my first purchase. My first tweet. 
um, I started tweeting way before I started blogging, like way before when Twitter was like this weird thing where people could not really say what they want to say and Facebook was everything back then. I was on Twitter and I was on Twitter because I had absolutely nothing to do while my colicky baby was crying and screaming down the place at 3 a.m. in the morning. He's now almost five, but you know, that was a long time ago. Nobody was really on Twitter and I think my first tweet was something along the lines of save me or this child won't stop crying or someone you know, enter me into a mental asylum, you know, something along those lines because he was driving me nuts. Those first three months of a newborn is tough and especially when the baby is colicky. So yeah, that's how I started tweeting like three o'clock in the morning one day and you know, Twitter has become the biggest thing ever since but I do remember when it was itsy bitsy and nobody was tweeting and everybody actually really talked to each other, you know, I mean people talk to each other now but not like how we used to back in the day. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me and listening to my first. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am now tagging you, yes you, to do a video about your first because I would love to hear about it. Um, please be sure to join me over at BrooklynActiveMama.com where I'm always vlogging about my daily life and fitness and all that fun stuff. And be sure to subscribe to my channel because I would really appreciate that. And it's free. You don't have to pay anything to subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you so much again. I'm going to go. Deuces.